we sometimes get a equilibrium constant that is for gases that is in concentration units, molarity instead of pressure units, uh, the units that we need for the upcoming sections of this course. So the natural form of equilibrium constant uses uses molarity for concentration and atmospheres for any gases. So to convert uh, a gas from molarity to uh, pressure, well, we go to the ideal gas law and we just divide both sides by volume. So now we have uh, P equals N over V RT. N over V moles per liter, that is molarity. So we have our uh, pressure equals molarity times RT. For a generic reaction here, our Kp would be um, the pressure of each product raised up to their coefficients divided by the pressure of each reactant raised up to their coefficients. Doing a substitution for each P, we put in uh, the MRT using the subscripts to keep track of the compounds. So we put it all in and we pull the molarity all out by itself and leave the RT by itself. Well, this molarity, uh, this ratio of the products of the molarity of the products raised up to the coefficients divided by the molarity of the reactants raised up to their coefficients is Kc, the concentration-based uh, equilibrium constant. And then RT will end up with the power of C plus D minus A minus B. We can call that delta N. Delta N is the uh, product coefficients minus our reactant coefficients. So this reduces down to um, Kp equals Kc times RT to the delta N. So taking an example, uh, the decomposition of ammonium gas into nitrogen hydrogen. If we're given our Kc is 0.093, six at 600 Kelvin, what is Kp? So Kc might be the easy one to calculate. We might know the moles, we might know the volume. So we calculate Kc first, but Kp is what we're going to need to use if we want to turn that into free energy of reaction. So Kp is our Kc times RT to delta N, the R is going to be the ideal gas R. 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So we put in our numbers, the Kc, R, T, uh, and then um, the three plus one minus two, the delta N for the coefficients. Reduce it down a little bit more, reduce it down completely, and we get a Kp of 227. And this is uh, one of the few times that we'll come across where we're not going to worry about the units completely canceling off. They won't. Uh, this board, 0 0.0936 has no units. The answer has no units. And we see all that we're canceling off here are the Kelvins, uh, but we're not going to worry about the units on this uh, particular conversion because we use a trick to make the units of equilibrium constants go away. So equilibrium constants are always unit this. So again, uh, the for gases, we like, we need atmospheres uh, instead of uh, molarity when we're going to be using this for our um, thermodynamics that are coming up.